Michael, what's up, man? It's TJ. How you doing? TJ Jefferson, as I live and breathe. Uh, <laughs> I always feel like you're maybe a figment of my imagination, TJ. You turn up at bizarre moments of my life. How like so? An angel. Well, I know, you're like an angel. What was that uh, show that used to be on NBC where they were sort of walking angels? I feel like, like I walked backstage at the Emmys after winning an Emmy, and there you are, TJ. I feel like maybe I imagined you. Maybe it wasn't really you. Well, you know, I, w I was very upset that we didn't win, but I was happy that you guys won. So I wanted to show, like, you know, there were no hard feelings. And a show that I legitimately watch every morning, I was happy for you guys. So, you know, that was great. I, I, I won't lie to you. I would have much rather we won. But, hey, I'm not going to hold it against you, Michael. But, you know, you're you're a pretty interesting cat to me, Michael Davies. I think I've told you this before because, you know, behind the scenes, an incredibly successful producer with what you've done in your career. But, like, the Men in Blazers thing, man, is it's, it's such a trip to me. And I know the story, but share the story with the people who might not know. You and Roger, you kind of – something happened. You guys were both in a predicament that you probably didn't want to be in when you met. And you kind of turned something that could have been bad into something really great. So why don't you tell the people, like, how the Men in Blazers uh, thing got started? Yeah, look, Men in Blazers is, is the side hustle of all side hustles. It's a, um, you know, I've spent my entire career producing television shows and being a television executive. And, uh, but at the same time, outside of that, watching, you know, enormous amounts of sport, uh, a lot of it soccer, not all of it. I'm a big Orlando Magic fan, as Ben Lyons knows. I've been watching the Open all morning. Um, but I watch a lot of sport and, uh, Roger and I had the great misfortune on the day of the World Cup final 2006, Italy versus France uh, in Germany, that Roger and I were both invited to the same wedding uh, by our wives, my wife at the time, Roger's wife, who was still his current wife. And um, we were both miserable to be there. Neither <laughs> of us wanted to be at that wedding. And we literally stood at the bar on a boat. And it's like nothing worse than a wedding on a boat because you can't leave. <laughs> and we just stood there, you know, just uh, refreshing our phones. And this is these are 2006 phones. This is like pre-iPhone. Like we really Blackberry? weren't getting a lot of information. Might have been a sidekick. And, uh, trying to figure out what was going on in the World Cup final. And we and our miser in misery, we both found each other. And we've remained with each other in misery. Uh, ever since. <laughs> That's amazing. And then, like a month ago, you're on stage with Seth Meyers, 2,000 people. I know you're going on tour for the Men in Blazers leading up to the World Cup. I mean, yeah. this thing has taken on a life of its own. What's the Who's the strangest person that has told you they watch the show? Or where's the weirdest place you've been when someone's recognized you from Men in Blazers as opposed to all the other cool stuff you've done? Oh, my word. It happens all the time. Particularly, we seem to do very well with uh, TSA employees. <laughs> in... Uh, <laughs> in regional airports around the country. So it's nice getting a, a sort of a Devo here and there. I ran into a, a guy the other night at dinner in Sag Harbor who'd named his kids after listening to me on the pod, John Terry and Frank Lampard, two of my favorite players in the history um, of Chelsea, my beloved Chelsea football club. I mean, it's really everywhere we go. We meet, uh, we meet our GFOPs, our great friends of the pod. And it's been amazing. Roger actually is currently on his way down to DC doing a live show tonight. Um, and uh, post-match drinks with his ev beloved Everton Football Club uh, down in D.C. Yeah, it's taken, us, uh, it's taken us everywhere. And to parts of the country where we never would have imagined that we would see soccer succeed. Nashville now, <laughs> Charlotte, Atlanta, you know, the, the, the game Austin. The game is growing through the American South, and it's, um, uh, it's been really incredible. We've done live shows with the mix a lot. That was a career highlight. <laughs> um, there was a wonderful moment. Put them on the glass. Josh where Josh Duhamel um, French kissed Rog live on television. That was something I'll never forget. Yeah, that sounds on brand for Josh. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. <laughs>